Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose and today I'm going to share with you our classroom tour for the month of June. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a child care provider for up to five children and on my channel you'll find tips and tricks, all things related to child care, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. So this month we're studying insects, so let me show you around. We are spending less and less time indoors and so unless it's ridiculously hot or a crazy storm, we're outside. So I always debate on how elaborate I wanna set up my classroom, but we do get days that are too hot to spend as much time outside, or if we get a terrible storm or something, we do spend some time inside. So let me show you what our classroom looks like this month. In our sensory table, I just put out some Melissa and Doug bugs and some magnifying glasses. I also put little pieces of wood and rocks for the children to hide bugs so that they could pretend it was a log. And I just wanted to put these items in to kind of remind children where we might find bugs. Sometimes we can lift rocks outside and we'll find some bugs under there. And so this is just a nice little reminder of where we might find insects. I switched things up this month and I'm using my writing center for my light table and we just had this really simple setup where the children will put the x-ray cards of the different insects and then they're going to try to find the match with these cards. Over at our science table this month we have a couple of different things going on. I have some real artifacts for them to look at. I have these fun little bug eye kaleidoscopes and the children can see through the lens of a fly. So that's kind of fun. And then right here we have, these are gardening gloves, but I love that there's little bees on them. So they're gonna be beekeepers at the science table and they're gonna be looking in the hive, be looking for bee predators. So they don't wanna see any bears or moths or mice. So they're gonna get suited up before they check on their hives so that they're safe in their safety bee gear. And then they're going to go inside their hives and look for the different predators on the bee frame. And then if they find a predator, they're gonna use one of the beekeeper's tools to brush away the predator. Meaningful. One of the ways we can make learning meaningful to the children is to use every experience that we can to make it more relatable. And so my husband is a beekeeper and so I just took a couple of pictures of him and some of his beekeeping tools and some of his equipment as well as some pictures of bees in our own backyard and then I made it into a hardcover book. And the children absolutely love this book. They love that they know Beekeeper Pete and it makes it much more personal for them. So this is always a really special book for us to read. It's super simple, just some pictures of my husband in his bee suit. This is Pete, he is a beekeeper. Beekeepers take care of bees and collect their honey. I have a picture of him wearing his bee suit and we talk about how the bee suit protects him from bee stings. And then here's a picture of some of the tools that he uses and what they're used for. So this brush is similar to the one in the book. Over on our first toy shelf, we have a couple of insect Folkman puppets. We have the ladybug, the monarch butterfly, and a praying mantis. The butterfly is definitely my favorite. It's beautiful when the children play with it. Then we have the classic, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly book. And then I have a 24 piece Melissa and Doug insect puzzle. And then I have a couple of Montessori style puzzles here. I have the fly, a butterfly, and a ladybug. I have a basket with some lacing insects. A couple of specimens of some real insects up here for the children to observe. Down here, I have a little gear toy, which is great for color matching. Here's a hungry caterpillar stacking toy, which is super cute. Over on our second toy shelf, 
I have another Folkman bee puppet. On here, I just have an insect and spider science viewer. And so the children can look at all the different insects inside the viewer. Down here, I have this beautiful set from Lakeshore and it's a number matching activity. So the children can practice one-to-one -one correspondence by counting the dots and putting it on the correct number, but it's self-correcting with the shape. So they're learning one-to-one -one correspondence, but they're also practicing their shapes and it's a great fine motor activity. Up here, we have a little bug sorting activity. So this one's all different ladybugs inside. And then in this one, we have ants, grasshoppers, and bees. And they can use these little tools to get them out. So you can dump them all out and the children can practice sorting the different bugs into the jars. And then I have two really fun pull along toys. So this one is the hungry caterpillar and this one is a brio bee. My toddlers absolutely love running around with these and this brio one works so well, it flies super fast. And then I have this plan toy bee set. So this is another great color matching activity and it's great for fine motor. I had this beautiful hungry caterpillar set made and I'm hoping it's ready in time for our insect unit. She said sometime the beginning of June, so I'm hoping it's gonna be done soon, but I can't wait till I get it. But for now, I have a couple of things out for our circle time. This has been really fun. It's called Elephun. The elephant's trunk shoots out all these little butterflies and then each of the children get their own nets and they have to try to catch the butterflies. So it's super fun. We play that at circle time. I have a couple of really great finger puppet props that we'll be using as well. And then I have the little old lady who swallowed a fly puppet and she is probably one of my favorites. So they have all the little finger puppets that the little old lady swallows and the children always have such a kick out of it and there's always a lot of laughs. And then I have some beautiful large books and a bookshelf full of new interesting books to read. And then I always have extra so I just have this little this is also one of the things that they love to read. These big types of encyclopedia books. Children love looking through real photographs. And so I always try to grab these when I see them at a garage sale or at a thrift store. Over in our block area, I just put out the life cycle of a butterfly up and just put out some simple things for them to play with. A basket full of different insects, some magnifying glasses, a little book about bugs. And then we have the grouchy ladybug up here. And then the magnet board has the life cycle of the butterfly. And then in our dramatic play area this month, I just put out some insect dress up. So we have a bee, an ant, and a ladybug. These ladybug skirts are from the Dollar Tree and they have little headbands as well. I picked up this little ant hat at a garage sale one time and it just was by itself. So I just grabbed a black t-shirt from the dollar store and then I think I picked this up at a garage sale once. And this month we have all picnic food. So I put a little picnic basket out I put some baskets with different things. So I have lettuce, tomatoes, and over here we have cucumbers and then meat and cheese. And then in the big basket in the middle, we have white and brown bread, some sub buns and some pitas. And then down here we have some snack food. So we have some fruit, some cookies and some chips. And so the children can just pack a picnic and then I put a picnic blanket up here for them. I, seeing as how it's strawberry picking season, I also grabbed some strawberries and a bowl. And then I left the colander and the vegetable brush in the sink as well. And then for some gross motor, I have our slide. I have a couple of bee wheelie bugs. And then our babies. 
and our strollers. If you're not familiar with these wheelie bugs, they are amazing. The wheels turn in all different directions. These are absolutely amazing toys. They're, they're so well built and I've had these for years. They still look brand new and I've had children playing with them over and over again. Down in the comments below, tell me what your favorite part of this month's tour was. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.